Hi everyone, welcome to Gon's Keyboard Works. Well, today I'm going to show you how to use a preformed DIP type diodes. So, this is so called Gon diode. You can see this at my shopping mall at www.gonskeyboardworks.com. So, this is preformed for easier use when you solder it onto the board. Well, first, you have to cut, cut off a line. See? Cut. Well, you, you have... Well, diodes have two legs. One is because it has a direction. Well, there is a red stripe and this side there is no stripe just white one well you have to cut off this side because the diodes should be inserted to the board this way this direction so let's cut off one size okay so the important thing here is the legs you see are not even in the lengths because this will make you easier to insert the diodes into the board more easier because well you insert first the longer one then the shorter one this will be easier well uh, I'm gonna insert diodes on the board well, for uh, to save time, I've done some of the diodes on the board already. So I'm gonna insert about 15 diodes on the board. Well, you see, long longer lead first, then the shorter one. Longer first, then the shorter. It's it's easy. Okay, now it's time to solder the diodes. When you solder, solder the diodes, you must be careful because if you add too much solder wire, the solder wire will melt and the solder will go down through the board and down to the, to the other side so the solder melt solder will make a like a bubble so this bubble will hinder will interfere with the switches when you assemble the keyboard so be careful now let me turn on the air purifier because I don't like this soldering fumes that will make uh, then we make some noise. Rhythm is very important. If you get get accustomed to the rhythm, the time spent for soldering diodes will uh, be shorter. As you see this here. I just think the, the amount of the solder is very important. You should be very careful. Uh, I think I, I gotta... Uh, I gotta correct 
something that uh, this word even if you add too much solder on the diodes the diodes bubble I, I mean the solder bubble will not hinder the switch to get uh, because uh, in this this kind of board has its own position has own position for diodes so diodes will not interfere the switches but if you are soldering a board that doesn't have a dedicated place for diodes you should be very careful okay it's it's almost done uh, in this video I used the uh, a couple of omni omnivice omnivices but you don't have to buy that you just use you can just use a proper box for lifting up the board it's almost done right It's almost done for this side. Okay. It's finished. It's finished for one side. Then I will solder the other leads. Well, in the case, in the case, this case, as you see, well, uh, uh no solder came up to the to the top of the board. This is a good example. Okay, when you use a box, you can use a box like this. Okay, so this box can lift the board that will not interfere the uncut lead leads of diodes. Okay, like this. Then you can solder the diodes. Well, in fact, the omnivices are better, but I'm just, I, I just want to show you that you can do this without the expensive vices. Well, gen generally, it will take about 30 minutes for you, more than 30 minutes for you to solder diodes and cut off the leads. Well, the condition of my TV is not that good because I used it for almost four years.
I soldered a lot of parts with this soldering tip, so it's a, it's a bit worn. A worn out tip means uh, heat from the he heat is not transferred well. That means the tip is worn. Okay, it's almost, almost done. I have just a few left. With this kind of board, you don't have to be, be you don't have to be very careful because it has its own position for diodes so you don't have to be worried if you fit this board to GON NS series housing well it's done okay the next step is to cut off the unnecessary or uh, the pins I mean the leads when cutting off the knees, just that can pop. These leads can pop up when you cut it off. So, I, I, as I told you before, please wear protective glasses. Safety is the most important. Okay, this way you can cut off all the. Liz. Okay, this is the way how to solder a DIP type diodes onto the board. Okay, see you again. Thanks for watching.